Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Voodoo Detective. Uh, we are exploring the town, looking for different bits and pieces and just introducing ourselves to the locals really. Uh, and this time we find ourselves in the law offices. So we're going to have a look around here, see what's going on. Hey, you keep away from there. All right. Jeez, just have a look. Ventilation shaft. It's a ventilation shaft. Looks like it runs to the roof. Ah, now we were able to go up to the roof on that, um, we saw like a ladder at the side, didn't we? This book looks like we should be able to interact with it, but we can't. Um, we've got here some cards and papers, some more books, more books. Legal documents and books on law. I'd rather be stranded on a desert island than read those. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little bit boring. Um, some more books. Legal documents and books on law. I'd rather be stranded okay, on a desert same thing. island than read those. So he's got his desk here with a bunch of paperwork on it and a phone. Let's have a look at the desk. This desk is a little messy, but still, it's a good desk. Yeah, it looks like a nice solid desk. Right, let's talk to this guy, Theodore. Mr. Lawton? Lawton, funny. Uh, if you've come for legal services, I'm afraid I can't take on any more clients at the moment. Actually, my name is Voodoo Detective. I'm a voodoo private investigator. Got some questions I was hoping you could answer pro bono. Absolutely not. <laughs> I have to finish preparations for an important uh, affair this evening. Hmm. Can't you see how busy I am? That sounded suspicious. Oh, how perfectly inconsiderate. I ought to hold you in contempt. <laughs> You're just like my wife, Kiki, and her little puppets. Puppets? Well, I'm not a puppet. I'm a man. All right. Fine. Do you know anything about this pendant? Have you ever seen this pendant before? This is a law office, not a lost and found. Now please excuse yourself before I'm forced to take legal action. <laughs> well, we don't want him to take legal action because I'm sure he would uh, come out with a good result for himself. So Good seeing you. We'll, uh... I certainly hope not. Well, I'm sure we will because it's an adventure game. So let's, um, let's head back out. He wasn't very friendly, was he? Okay, can we... Yeah, we can climb to the roof. Should we do that? Oh, look at this. This looks lovely. If you've seen one tropical paradise, you've seen them all. I don't know. This is uh, pretty impressive, I've got to say. Um, what have we got up here? Climb down... A vent. The grill is screwed in place. I can hear someone shuffling papers in the office below. Right, so this is the other side of that vent. Didn't we get a screwdriver? We didn't, but I'm sure... Wasn't there one in the shop? <laughs> I will never get over how fast he walks when you do that. Was there a screwdriver? Yeah, there was one here. I remember commenting on it before. It's a souvenir <clears throat> screwdriver. There's a tiny inscription on the side. I went to Zawanga, and all I got was screwed. <laughs> yeah, I remember the inscription. <laughs> Funny and functional. Uh, let's buy that. I'll take it. Thanks for shopping at Island Trader, where all your trades come true. We've got some money, right? Yeah, so we've got, like, a stack of money. I'm not sure how much we've actually got. Press and hold to examine. It's the money Mary gave me. Alright, so... I mean, there was something else we could buy in here as well. I can't actually remember what it was. Was it one of these cameras? It's a camera. A real beauty, too. I can tell you the image quality is truly remarkable. Plus, we developed the photos right here. Yeah, I mean, before I said I didn't see the point in getting it, and I, I'm wondering if it's going to be useful in a puzzle later, especially given what he just said, so... I'll take it. Given that we've actually got money... Great! Thanks for shopping at Island Trader. There's nothing we won't trade for your business. Yeah, don't... That's very grovelly. Don't do that, please. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've still got tons of money, so I, I think maybe the approach is just to buy things, actually. Not sure whether you can run out of money. Anyway, let's go back to the roof. And we'll see if we can use this screwdriver on here. Oh yeah, we can. 
Maybe we can like chuck something down here to get him to leave the office. That's what I'm thinking. I could fit in there. I'd have front row seats to the counselor's crooked cabaret. Okay, but we can't. We can't fit in there. So yeah, I'm wondering if we have to like drop like some smoke bombs or something in there. Just I don't know. I'm just just theorizing here, but maybe do something like that. He'll run out. We can run in, have a look around, that sort of thing. Um, I think we've been. We can go to the Chic Shell Hotel, or we can go to the Fontoul Estate. Let's go to the hotel, because the estate is where Mary's from, right? So, I suppose let's go this way first. He does walk very slowly when you don't double-click, but <laughs> the double-click run is just really weirded me out. Um, okay, so there's a restaurant and a hotel. Let's have a look. Wow, check this place out. The Chic Shell Hotel. Are you a camera slinging, culture sapping, self centered tourist looking to be pampered like a baby? <laughs> then you've come to the right place. Sounds wonderful. Okay, uh, don't know if we can do anything over here. No, so we can go into the hotel or we can go into the restaurant. Let's, let's do the restaurant first because it's outside. And then we'll check out the hotel in a bit. Uh, we've got a waiter. Go. I don't know if we can go into the hotel that way. That swimming pool. Ah, the swimming pool. No better way to spend a day at the beach. <laughs> yep. It's an open table. Oh, we can sit down. All right, well, let's do that. Can I get you anything? Um, what's on the menu? What's on the menu? Let's see, we have our macadamia nut crusted mahi mahi bites. There's the steamed miso thai snapper. Our special today is poisson cru, made using deadly fugo fish. Sounds dangerous. For drinks, we have the mighty mango mojito, our marooned martini, and our most popular drink, the voodoo wipeout punch. Uh, okay, never mind for now. Actually, I think I'm good. Please let me know if you need anything. Yeah, we will. He's got very good posture, hasn't he, when he sits? That's one thing I've noticed. This guy, on the other hand, absolutely not. I'm not talking to any tourists. He literally won't talk to tourists. He, he hates tourists. Although this says woman rather than tourists, so. Hello there, handsome. Looking for someone? Not anymore. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? Dining alone? Dining alone? Why do you ask? Looking for a date? Info, actually, but... Maybe I am. Maybe he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm expecting company. And my brand of entertainment is best suited for an audience of one. Fine. You staying here? Are you staying at the hotel? I certainly am. I find it a welcome respite. Domestic life can be so drab. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, sometimes. I wouldn't know. Count your blessings. Anyway, introductions. My name's Voodoo Detective. I'm a Voodoo private investigator. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Detective. The name's Kiki. Kiki Lawton. Ah, interesting. So is that... The wife he was talking about. The wife with the puppets. I was hoping I might run into my client. He wouldn't happen to have seen her. Goes by the name Mary Fontoul. Female. Attractive. About 5'5". Five five. Looks like a little lost lamb that forgot the way home. Who did you say you were again? Voodoo detective. It's pretty simple. Oh, <laughs> well, I do know Mary. But she never mentioned a tall drink of water like you. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about her. What do you want to know? Mary's lost her memory. I'm trying to find it. Lost her memory? <laughs> the same thing happens to me around 5 o'clock every evening. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Uh, anyone new in Mary's life? Do you know if Mary started spending time with anyone new recently? She hasn't mentioned anyone to me. Mary's past? 
Did Mary ever talk about her past? Not once. Mary never volunteered personal information. And I guess I never asked. I'm not one to dig up the past once it's buried. Okay, do you recognize this pendant? Have you ever seen this pendant before? I can't say that I have. Huh. Not very elegant, is it? Why do you ask? Oh, I know. It must be evidence from one of your cases. Is that it? Was it stolen? Yeah, something like that. Or perhaps it was cursed. You did say voodoo detective, right? Oh, how delicious. Settle down, Mrs. Lawton. No need to get excited. It's just a necklace. So it's interesting that she knows Mary quite well, but she's never seen the pendant before. Who would hurt Mary? Do you know anyone who would want to harm Mary? Well, her husband is quite wealthy. I'm sure there are plenty of less fortunate islanders who might resent her wealth. You know, eat the rich and all. But I'm speaking in generalities now. These people might feel the same way about anyone with two pennies to rub together. Okay, Mary's behavior. Have you noticed Mary acting strange recently? Mary? God, no. She's as reliable a friend as any I've ever had. Hmm. Such a good listener. Always quiet, non judgmental, slowly nodding to let you know she's there for you. And those stony black eyes of hers are so beautiful. Like glazed obsidian. Black eyes? She's just lovely. An absolute doll. Huh. Enough about Mary. I've got other questions. Uh, goodbye. I've got more leads to chase down. Gotta blow. See you around, detective. Well, she seems nice, doesn't she? Uh, can we go this way? Or is it blocked off? No, it's blocked off. Alright, well, let's uh, see if we can go into the hotel. Ah, nice. Here we go. So that's the main door then. This is the way we've come in. Uh, we've got a tourist there. He's not interested in talking to tourists. Look at this fountain. That fish must like these tourists about as much as I do. <laughs> yeah. Another tourist. Well, more tourists, actually. We can use the elevator, although I'm not sure why we would do that, because we don't really have a reason to do so. Um, let us speak to the front desk clerk. Good day, sir. Checking in? Uh, no, I'm looking for Mary. I'm looking for a woman staying here named Mary Von Tool. One moment. Uh, yes. We do have a Mary Von Tool staying with us. She checked in the other day. A shorter woman with brown hair and brown eyes. Uh, came here alone, paid cash. But she's staying in room 203. I believe she's in there now. 203. Uh, but you need a room key to get upstairs. The Chic Shell Hotel takes our guest privacy very seriously. Okay, uh, why a room key? You're saying I need a room key to visit a guest? Can I just knock? Like I said, we can't let just anyone upstairs. That's why we require a room key to use the elevator. Every hotel guest is given a spare set to loan out to visitors. Ah, okay. That way it's up to them who's allowed to visit. Fine, so if we can get in contact with Mary, maybe she can give us the spare key. How about if I ask real nice? Will you let me upstairs? I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you upstairs if you're not a guest. All right, I, d I don't know that I want to take a room just yet. Yeah. I want to see if maybe we can get Mary's spare keys rather than doing that. So I think that's probably all we can investigate here. So maybe we go and check out the estate now. <laughs> that's obviously so funny. Alright, so the estate was up this way, right? Yeah, Fontoul Estate. Let's head up there, take a look around, and then we'll try and regroup with uh, with Mary. Also, interestingly, Mary has brown eyes, according to him, and from what I remember of the portrait down here, yet the lady we spoke to, Miss Lawton, said black eyes. So there's that. It's a greenhouse. 
course it's locked. Greenhouse is locked. I'll need to find a key. Yeah, of course. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We're out of time anyway, so uh, we will leave it here. We'll explore this estate in the next one and then try and regroup with Mary. So, uh, yeah, really, really enjoying this game so far. The vibe of it is fantastic. I love the story. I love the mystery aspect. The music is fantastic. The animation is just beautiful. I love these backgrounds. They're just stunning. Um, yeah, having a really good time with this. I can't wait to play more. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, New Luminous, Kuminin, and Paulione, and I'll see you next time.